The hardest part of getting hired in your first job as a data analyst, or any new career for that matter, is proving that you're able to do the job before you have any experience. I always tell my students, getting your second data analyst job is a thousand times easier than getting your first. So how do you get that first job? How do you prove yourself? Of course, you'll have to prove yourself in the interview process where they'll ask you questions about the skills and job functions and maybe even give you a test project to show your skills, but you're not even going to get an interview in the first place unless you do something to prove yourself before that point. So how do you do that? I have two ways, one good and one better. The good way is to create a portfolio. Put together a few projects that look impressive and showcase your new skills. You can even talk about what you did to create each project in a description or a short video. A portfolio is a good way to showcase your skills, but it's not perfect because it's hard to prove that it was actually your work. From the employer's perspective, it's possible that you could have copied someone else's work or even if you didn't copy someone else's work, you could have followed someone else's tutorial step by step and created the project. But maybe you don't really understand how to create a similar project if you're not following someone else's guide. So here's the better method, experience bootstrapping. What this means is that you actually create data analyst experience before you ever get hired as a data analyst. Find ways to use your new data skills at your current job, even though it's probably not part of your job description. Do you have access to spreadsheets at your job? Create some charts, some pivot tables, write some macros, maybe even put the data into a simple database and write some queries. These are all basic data analyst skills. The point is you don't have to have the job title of data analyst to get data analyst experience. And if you don't have a job or you don't have access to any data in your job, do it for someone else, for a church, a charity, a friend's business, etc. My dad is retired and volunteers for a nonprofit help, helping them analyze voting data to find voter fraud. He didn't have to interview or prove himself at all. They just gave him a ton of data to analyze to his heart's content. You could do the same thing. Now you have real data analyst experience for a real business or other organization that you can put on your resume or your LinkedIn, talk about in interviews, even use to create portfolio projects. This is how to get into a data analyst career when you have no experience. Now, if you didn't already know, I teach a program called Data Analyst Academy where I walk you through every step of the process to get hired as a data analyst. Even if you have zero skills and zero experience, even if you've never even heard the term data analyst until today, I'll teach you all of that. Or if you're already learning some of the skills, you can skip ahead to the parts on how to get hired. If that sounds great to you, I'm opening up the program now to new students. Check the first comment below for the link to get the full information, and I'll see you soon.